All right, guys, I'm going to show you today how to use my Color Street CRM, which is a customer relationship management or customer retention management, depends on who you're talking to. Um, and I have a template in here. It's a public template, so I will share the link, but I wanted to show you how I use it. So um, mine is filled with all kinds of people, but I'm going to show you how I would get started if I were brand new and looking at this for the first time. So I would click on my sample customer card that has all sorts of things here already saved for you. And I am going to um, copy. I'm going to copy it and then I title it the person's name. So let's say I want to make a sample a card just for myself, which I wouldn't, but, and I'm going to put this in the list. I can change what list I'm adding them to. This will be my current clients. I can change what position. There's only, you know, one person so far. So I do that. X out of that. And now I have me here. Um, and then I will click on it to edit. So I would go to my Facebook account. find the person's profile that I am wanting to add to the board. I copy their Facebook link so that I can easily get to them to check out their profile. You don't have to rewrite the name there. That might be a little redundant. And then I save their picture. I'm going to save um, the profile. And I, I just titled their name. That's me. I just put me. Then I make that an attachment from my computer. And now this card has a picture. I have down here for a new customer, things that I need to remember to do, send a thank you email. When I do that, I check that off. Connect on social media, invite to my VIP customer group, all of that thing, all of that will go right there. <clears throat> um, you know what, I should have made a copy of this first, but <laughs> I'll delete all this when I'm done. Um, so then once I fill this up and I can add another card with more customers, etc., then this is how I nurture the relationships with my VIPs. So when I send them a love bomb, which is like, hey, Lindsay, thanks so much for being in my group. Um, I hope you have a great day. Or, it can, you know, a love bomb can look like anything. Happy Fourth of July weekend. Do you have any fun plans? When I invite them to join the group, to be a hostess, to join my opportunity. I drag them to the invite column. When I follow up with them about it, I drag them over here. And then once I've done that, engage is kind of basically the same thing as love bomb, but like keep going back and talking to them. If they have made it clear, you know, they don't want to buy from me ever again, or maybe it's someone in my VIP group who, um, like they're the mom of a, to someone who just joined my team, I'm going to move them to past customers because I know like my stylist and my downline, their parents aren't going to buy for me, things like that. So I might put them over here. Um, other things I do when they become a stylist, I move them over here. And then, so here's the stylist template. Here's a stylist checklist for when they join. So if I want to come in here and take out she's not a new customer anymore, but I want to add that she's a stylist. I'm going to click here and add the stylist checklist now to this profile. And then I can click in here. I've added her to groups. I sent her the new stylist checklist, all those things. I want to show you something else. I'm going to drag me, <laughs> my fake um, client down here. <clears throat> so right here, these ones, 
before I was a stylist, maybe I expressed interest in the opportunity or maybe I was someone that I really, you know, wanted on my team. So I'm going to put those people here so that they're front and center in my board. If it's someone who has, um, maybe she comments on the time on my things and I really would like her to be a hostess. I'm going to put her here. Once she has scheduled a party with me, I'm going to drag her here. My active parties are going to go here. And when they're done, they're going to go to past hostesses. Um, now I want to show you my active party template. I'm pretty obsessed with this. This helped a lot, especially when we were we had out of stocks and I was doing orders, having to fill orders from home, um, scheduling a party date, sending a hostess packet. All of these things are great things to remember to have to do for your parties. And you can keep track of your orders here. So I'm going to show you again in case you're not just making a card off this template, in case the person's already made here, this is how you can add. We go to checklist. And if they set up a party with me, I'm going to add these checklists. I'm going to get rid of stylus for personing. This person is having a party. I can go in here and add these checklists to this person's card. So I just added them. Um, say her party date, she said, is July 15th. So I add that in here when I have that. Then I will set a due date a week before that. So that'll send me an email that I need to look at this card. So that's my way to remember that I need to set up those parties that day. When I send the hostess packet, I check it off. You know, her party date is scheduled once I create the group, et cetera. I go on the, all the way down through here. Now, here I can add people's orders. So say Julie didn't order and it was worth 35 PV. I'll put that in there. Um, Nicole, Nicole's order was 37, et cetera. Um, this is a nice way for me to keep track too of my early birds that I need to order. I can put like next to it like early bird. So then I know I need to send these people, you know, my three accent nails or whatever I was promising them for early bird. This helps me remember to announce a winner because sometimes I forget and then actually send it, send the hostess thank you, and then the order placed. And again, once the party's done, you know, you can delete these off their thing if you want. You can keep these on here, the people's orders, because look up, look up this really cool function. So if I type in here and I'm wondering where Julie came from as a customer. Oh, she actually was on one of my cards. Um, let me find another one. Well, it should show. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Normally when I type that in, it shows that the person is on this person's card. Like how I typed this when I typed this back here. Oh, there it goes. It shows she's on my scheduled parties card under Lindsay Dollinger. And she was also on a past hostesses of mine card, Nicole. So I can look at Nicole's card here and 30 out of 30 things have been checked off. This one, two of my things have been checked off. So I can see where she found me, which is really nice too. Um, let me see, is anything else? Uh, you can quickly move them if you want to. So as, as I am sending messages to um, women in my group and thanking them and sending them loves bombs, I can quickly move them that way. So then they show up here. You can also use this to add trainings. So if you want to set reminders for the Tuesday trainings, you can put them on here. We have a training in Nail Vibes on Fridays. Um, I have a vendor event coming up. I can put that there and I, you know, I, you can really make this your own. I'm going to, I'll, well, I'll delete these when we're done. And then um, I already showed you stylus template. If you want to add stuff to these, you can add things. Just add them. 
um, right there. And then if you decide you want to take them off, delete. So this is Trello. It's free. There are some features that I haven't even shown you guys that you have to pay for, but everything else is free. Um, in the menu, you can change like you can't on a template, but you can change the background, all sorts of things. But this is a great way to um, keep up with your business. And this is what I use. So I hope you found that helpful. And I believe that is all, friends.